OK, so we did the straight, super straight, and zigzag line. Now we're going to move on to the super straight zigzag line. Now, um, I want to emphasize the importance of your knowledge of knowing that these lines are elements of design. Elements of design help you recognize what art is made out of. Okay, So when you're making lines, you're actually starting to begin um, to understand um, the fundamentals uh, or the building blocks of art. So if someone is say, what are the, what's an art element of um, uh, uh, example? And you could say, well, one is line. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it's not to be confused with the elements of science, which would be like uh, fire, wind. I think there's a band called Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, don't be confused with that band um, or any of those uh, elements of science. This is art elements. So this is something new, something different, and we're focusing on the art element of line. And right now, we're moving on to a new line to learn the tools of Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and start myself off by going to the pen tool. Remember, P for the pen tool. And then I have to get rid of my fill. Okay, So you can toggle between your stroke and your fill by hitting X. And then I'm going to hit the question mark here, the forward slash, and slash my fill. Okay. So uh, yeah, if there was a guy named Phil and there was a party, he would not be invited. Okay, so we go ahead and slash him. Uh, not in a bad way because we don't want to get violent. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and start my zigzag line, but it's going to be super straight. So um, it's a little bit different than the one that we just did the zigzag, which is a super straight zigzag. Some of you can probably think um, how we can make this zigzag super straight. There's a uh, uh, a keyboard key that you have to hold down in order to make it super straight. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and throw my anchor point down like I normally would because that's how we started off all our lines so far. And then I'm going to hold the shift key. Okay, so uh, don't worry, I didn't swear. Okay, um, I said hold the shift key. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and click diagonally. Okay, so there we go. And you can see it's a super straight diagonal line. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and hold the shift key. Don't forget, hold the tomatoes too, if you don't like those. And then I'm going to go ahead and click. And you notice how it clicked diagonally, even though my pen was a little higher up. So we got to be careful, because if we get too high up, then it's going to start going like this, and it looks like a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Okay, And then I'm going to go ahead and go diagonally. Really important that we make sure we click diagonally, by, but we got to hold the shift key, and bam, there it is. And then I'm going to hold the shift key again. And hold the shift key. Now the same rule applies where you have to have five or more anchor points. It looks like I have more than five. I have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is more than five. We're good. Now I'm going to deselect because if we don't deselect, look what happens. Oh no. What a mess. All right. Hit Control Z to undo. Now I'm going to deselect. Remember, use your pinky, the your um your finger ne up to next to your pinky and your middle finger. Okay. So then I'm going to ho hold the pinky on the control key with my left hand, um, hold the shift key, and then the A. I'm actually looking what I'm doing on the keyboard. Um, control shift A, and it deselects. So there we go. We can start with our new um, super straight zigzag. I'm going to go ahead and make this one uh, horizontal. Hold the click and make your anchor point. Hold the shift key, and don't forget to hold the mayo. OK, there we go. And then whoosh, hold, look, do you see how it, I click diagonally? And when I click, when I'm holding the shift key, it doesn't go where exactly my pen is. It goes exactly at an angle that we'll talk about in a second. Okay, so you notice I'm staying on the digital canvas there. Okay, control shift A. Um, let's hit control A. But remember we could hit control shift A if I just want to select this one. There's a shortcut for getting to the selection tool. Remember what that shortcut is? Well, V to get to the that tool, but let's say we're in the pen tool and we want to save ourselves some time. We just hold what key is it to get to the selection tool? Good job, the control key. You're smart. You're really smart. Keep it up. All right, so I'm holding the control key, and I'm just going to click on there. And then I release the control key, and I'm back in the pen tool. And let's take a look at how many anchor points we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. That's more than five. We're good. I'm going to hit control shift A. Bam. All right, it's on the digital canvas. I completed my super straight zigzag line. Um, OK, let's take a look at the angle for a second, a super straight zigzag line. I'm going to just click and hold the shift key. And then hold the shift key and click diagonally. And now I only have three anchor points, so that wouldn't suffice for my um, super straight zigzag. But let's just take a look at this angle. I'm going to hit Control Shift A, and we notice, and we can take a look. It's at a, it's kind of like tilted. But if we were to just let's say go like this, click, hold the shift key, and then click and hold the shift key, 
we've got a particular kind of angle for those of you who are into math. It is a what angle? Not your left. Good. A right angle. Good job. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Okay. And we're going to go ahead, and I'm just going to go ahead and make right angles by clicking my anchor point, hold the Shift key, bam. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold the Shift key, Shift key. Oh, I made a mistake. Don't want to do that because it's a 45 degree angle. Hit Control Z. I'm going to make sure I click diagonally. Really important that I do that. Hold the Shift key, Control Shift A. If I hold the Control key, I click on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is more than five. Because remember, if there's a zigzag or super straight zigzag, you must have five or more anchor points. Great job. Keep it up. We've got a couple more to go. OK, a couple things that I want to make sure I have before I move on to the next line. All right, I'm going to take a look at my document, make sure it's labeled correctly, line, space bar, my initials. That looks good. So we're going to make sure that that happens. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm in the pen tool. Remember, shortcut for the pen tool is P. All right, and then I'm going to take a look at my fill. Remember, X lets you toggle between your stroke, which came in front. OK, and then my fill, I'm going to hit X again. And then the question mark key or forward slash to slash my fill. All right, so the next line is uh, kind of fun, um, and it's a little different. Um, so just bear with me. Um, it's called the curve line. Okay, curve line um, makes things a little bit more interesting, and it helps you use the pen tool um, in a really kind of nice way. So I'm just going to go ahead and click to make my first anchor point. Now remember, how many anchor points does it take to make up a line at least? Good job, two anchor points. So I just have one there. I'm going to make my second anchor point. Now with a curve line, really important that with your second anchor point that you click and drag. So I'm, my pen is right now on the uh, pad, okay? And I'm just dragging, and you can see these little handles that let me know that I'm dragging them out, okay? You see this, the two anchor points, the second anchor point that I just clicked and dragged has two handles, and that lets me know um, that I'm dragging it out. And um, I'm gonna release, and you can see that the curve goes like this. These are just the handles, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control Shift A, and I have my curve line. Now let's say I wanted to do it the opposite way, no worries. I just click my first anchor point, click and drag up, and it goes the opposite way. So again, Control Shift A to deselect. Really important that you Control Shift A that. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this first one originally. Click my first anchor point, click and drag down, and I got my handles. I'm going to go ahead and release. Control Shift A to deselect, and then I'm going to go ahead and click and click and drag down to make my other one. Okay. That's a fun control shift A and feel free to, you know, make a picture with the curve lines. Click, click and drag. I'm making eyes here. Click, click and drag. This is a good way to practice. Um, also, um, you can make a little pupil. Make sure the lines do not touch though. Click and click and drag, control shift A, click, click and drag, control shift A. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, maybe I can make some um, click and drag eyelashes as well. <laughs> Lots of fun. Okay, something creative that you can do while you're learning these lines is drawing a picture with them. But make sure that you're working with um, the line that we're on. This is the curve line. So pretty cool. Control Shift A. Okay, remember, no fill, pen tool, click your first anchor point, click and drag your second anchor point. Okay, Control Shift A. OK, so uh, my work is kind of getting a little sloppy here. I'm looking at my artboard is what they call it, but I call it a digital canvas because I think it, it looks like a digital canvas. So I want to make sure that it's on the screen. So I'm going to fit onto screen. So I can hit this down arrow, fit on screen. Remember from the interface, interface, interface. Or I can hit Control-0. That's a shortcut. Make sure you hit Control-0, not Control-O. Otherwise, it opens a document. Let's see what happens when you hit Control-O. OK, so and then it goes like this. Dope! Open a document. So I'm going to hit Cancel. I'm going to hit Control-0. So make sure it's um, by the, the 0, by the backspace. So Control-0. And you can see now I'm at 86%. It's fitting on the digital, uh, the, uh, your screen. Perfect. OK? So um, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make the final line out of the 6. And it is called 
the roller coaster. This one, I think, is one of my favorites, okay? I love the roller coaster. And I just came up with the name because it reminds me of a roller coaster as well. It's also probably one of the more trickier lines that you can draw in Illustrator, okay? So let's make sure a couple things are um, going on. My document's labeled correctly. And the pen tool, P for pen, okay? Make sure my fill is, uh, there is none, okay? There is none there, so it was already set that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag down, okay? So this is new. The first anchor point, you click and drag down. The second anchor point, you have to click and drag it the same way I dragged it originally. So I click and drag down, and you notice it makes a roller coaster. Okay, I'm gonna hit Control shift a to deselect. And let's take, try that again. Click and drag down my first anchor point, okay? And then you gotta click and drag which way? Yep, that's right, down, because it was the original way that I dra uh, dragged the first one. Okay, so I hit Control shift a Now what happens if you do it the opposite way? You click and drag up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag up. And then what do I have to do with the other anchor point? That's right, I gotta go the same direction. So click and drag up, and it just does the same thing. It's kind of reflected in the opposite way. So a lot of people like to make these whale things. Let me show you. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the selection tool. Uh, really quickly, the shortcut for that is control, good job. And then I'm just gonna click on this, this little part here and bring it up. And they like to, people like to make these whale-like things with the roller coaster. I'm gonna hit control shift A. So let me show you how to do that um, all together now. So click and drag down, click and drag down. So I got that part, control shift A, click and drag up, click and drag up. And then I hit control shift A. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up by holding the control key. That goes to my selection tool and just drag it up. And then I got one of those things. Pretty cool, a lot of fun. And if I hold the control key, I can move the whole thing. Make sure you hold the control key still and just drag it to wherever you want. Control shift A and there we go. Okay, remember, click and drag down. Make sure you're clicking and dragging in the same direction. Click and drag down um, when you're making your roller coaster. Keep practicing this. Feel free to make those little whale guys. Um, lots of fun, um, kind of cute. Uh, for those of you who like whales and so forth, um, or little fishies. All right, um, this is the last of the six lines. Remember, we we're focusing on the element of line, okay, the element of art, which is line. This is the roller coaster, which is the last of the six. So I want you after this to just keep practicing. Um, we're gonna do a practice tutorial, um, actually video next um, to watch and then do. And then, um, and then we'll kind of go from there, all right? Keep up the good work. Keep your spirits high. Remember, patient goes to um, you know those who are willing to work and uh, do their best, uh, as well as um, succeed. Okay, so just be patient um, and be willing to learn and uh, open your mind and your brain um, because you're keeping up the you know good work here. All right, thank you.